The tour itself has been, been amazing. We've gone from 4,000 metres in elevation, looking at some very open, what they call desert country, managing a herding operation, and then moving down off the mountains into this vast open cropping area and feedlot operations. It's hard to comprehend the scale until you actually get here and see it. Most of our clients, or if not all of our clients, have been impressed probably with the scale, the level of technology, and just the passion that our American fellow producers have over here. Really, the, the networking and information exchange has been a highlight. And actually, a lot of areas that I thought may have not been as interesting, I've got probably um, a lot more out of those than, than what I expected. I enjoyed seeing the cattle at high altitude and the environment they're living in. And I had a look at a 12,000 cow dairy sort of first up and that uh, was particularly eye-opening in that they seem to have got that down pretty well organised. It enables the Australian producers to see the intensity of a grain-fed system that we have in the United States opposed to a predominantly a grass-fed program in Australia. I think that they have learned um, about our feeding cycle, uh, things that they can do better from an efficiency standpoint. So I would encourage any producers who want to come on the next beef tour to think that uh, they can find something nearly out of every visit, if not every visit, that they'll really be able to take back home you know, to apply to their property.